So let's just quickly switch back to the demo database, which has a larger record set, so we can look at some of the report options that we have. To do that, we're going to select Tools, Database Connection, and rather than choose a local database instance, which is really just a nickname for a particular database, we're going to select this, Attach Database File Name. And we're going to find the demo database under this folder, C slash users slash username, app data, which is a hidden folder, roaming, data page plus slash database. So when you've changed the database connection back to the demo database, data page plus will have you log in again. So I'm going to do that. This is the interface that you'll see. I'm going to double click on all parts. And these are all the parts that are listed in my database. Let's select this example part by double clicking on it. And what that does, that opens up the portion of the database that stores the variables and the transactions for that part. On the left hand side, we can see we have a number of variable types, including feature variables and dimension variables. Now I'm interested in the dimensions, so I'm going to select dimension, and I'm going to place a check next to some of these circles. Below that, we have a list of our transactions. And if you place a check next to select all, then Data Page Plus will select all of our 15 transactions, or else you can uncheck that and go and select the transactions that you're interested in. There's basically four types of reports that we have access to inside of Data Page Plus. So let me just quickly go through each of them. We have a chart report, a text report, a CAD report, and something called a custom report. Let's look at the chart report first. So if I click on the tab that says chart report, this icon on our toolbar allows me to choose a chart that I want to use. We can see we have various types of charts that we have access to. You may also notice that some of the chart types are grayed out. This is due to the variable type that I've selected on the left. If I go back and choose Feature Variables, and I choose just the diameters of four of our holes, and now I choose a chart type, you'll notice that we have some of the other charts are grayed out, and we have new ones that are lit up. I'm going to select a Run Chart, and finally, to generate the chart, I'm going to select this arrow that says Apply To. That basically takes your choices on the left side and applies them to the chart that you've selected in the toolbar. So here's our run chart. If I double click on any of these run charts, Data Page Plus is going to maximize the run chart. I can hover my cursor over any of the entries and I can see a date time stamp along with a value for that entry. If I double click again, it's going to go back to the normal view. Now, I've only selected four di diameters to chart. If I had selected more, then the page number up here would allow me to scroll to our other charts. What's displayed on this particular chart is going to be tied to the chart options. So if I select the Options button and select Chart Display and select the Run Chart Type, you can see I have various options that I can choose now. And right now I'm labeling the chart with the transaction date and I'm showing the specification limits along with the control limits. So let's just quickly skip over the text report. I'll get back to that in a moment. I want to show you some uh, special things that are built into that one. Let's jump over to the CAD report now. 
And you can see that uh, the CAD report is uh, actually a picture of our CAD model. And our run charts now have leader lines that point to the features that were actually measured. And just like our chart report, if I double click on any of these charts, uh, we can have a closer look at the individual charts. If I'm not happy with the view of the CAD model, I can double click in there. And this is a live view, just like what you would see in PCDMIS. I can rotate this around, or I can right click and choose a built-in view. The labels, you can left mouse button drag and position them where you like. The chart types that are being displayed, you can also choose inside of the pull down. So rather than have a run chart, if I wish, or maybe I want to have a uh, process capability chart, histogram. So there's our uh, histogram being displayed. So you have all kinds of options in here. So let's look at the custom report next. We'll select custom report. And very similar to the custom report inside of PCDMIS, we can create objects on our blank report page to represent the variables and the transactions that we have. To access those objects, we simply right mouse button click. I'm going to select Add Object. And the first thing I'm going to add is something called a CAD control. If I double click in this area, I can bring up the view that I wish. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a chart report control. And I'm going to right mouse button drag to define the size and position of this chart. And what I need to do now is on the left hand side where I have my variables, I'm going to place a check next to circle 5 and then I'm going to drag it into this chart area. And now I have a run chart for circle 5. If a run chart is not the chart that I wanted, I can right click and select custom setting and I can choose a chart type other than the run chart. Let's select a histogram. I'm going to add one more feature to this and that's going to be a line that joins my chart to circle 5 on my CAD model. So you can see we can build a custom report that suits our needs.